from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, here's the drone cam and again a mixture of clouds and sun during the course of the day today and with this tropical atmosphere, you may have noticed some pretty nice sunsets and I'd look forward to that again tonight as a lot of these clouds will slowly dissipate and you get the late sun uh, kind of beaming up against those clouds. We've had nice pastels. We should get more colorful colors uh, coming up tonight, but typically a tropical sky, deep blue sky and then cloud cover and depending on that cloud cover and where the shower activity is, that's going to dictate our temperatures and we got up to at least 90 today. Uh, that's close to what we think is going to be the official high now across the lower 48 uh, dealing with the threat of severe weather as you go uh, farther to the east and the mid Atlantic then back through the Rockies a tornado warning here north and east of uh, say it looks like Boulder and more severe weather threats across Montana, but our weather being dominated by a little bit of what we call an inverted trough that's moving westward or a little bit of a tropical wave a little upper level low as well. And that created the environment for scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region. Now, let me just back this up here. This feature is going to continue to move westward and high pressure is going to start building in from the east. But we're going to have still have this moist southeasterly flow at upper parts of the atmosphere. So we do expect more scattered storms as we head into tomorrow, uh, but not as widespread as what we saw earlier today. Now, most of the activity concentrating in the northern part of the state. Notice with a tropical atmosphere, you have your showers and thunderstorms mid morning through mid afternoon and by this time things are quieting down. You'll still have a few renegade showers out there, but things will quiet down as we head into the evening hours. Power Doppler 3 not indicating much. Few light sprinkles southern uh, St. Landry Parish, an isolated cell uh, northeast of the Morgan City area out in the southern flank of the Atchafalaya Basin, and that's about it. So rain chances dropping down to 10% tonight. You see how the storms bubbled up today. Not as concentrated as yesterday, and this is what the models were telling us. So uh, pretty much delivering on the scattered showers. Most folks not getting a whole lot of rain, enough to wet the ground, but we'll take anything we can get. Meanwhile, tropics, it's all about Bonnie out here in the Pacific. Elsewhere, as we go uh, across the Atlantic, we're looking at no developments here over the next five to seven days. So good news there. We'll keep that tropics quiet as long as we can. No promises, though, after August 1st. So scattered tropical showers and thunder showers tomorrow. I think the graph model has a pretty good handle on it. We'll go down to a rain chance at about 30 40%, although it looks like we could see a shower in Lafayette, which would skew our percentages, but we forecast by area, not by population. And then as we head into Friday, much the same, we're going to see a scattering of showers and storms, maybe a little bit more coverage, but overall we're in the 30 to 40% range over the next couple of days. Temperatures topping out in the lower 90s. Overnight tonight, we'll see readings getting down into the upper 70s, but by eight, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, already at 80 degrees, and then will warm up into the lower 90s. We think tomorrow afternoon the heat index should get up into the low 100s. It got to 100 again today. You see the readings bouncing up between 80s and 90s and then another start near 80 Friday morning and a finish topping out. It looks like at about 94 for your uh, Friday afternoon and then a warm and humid start to the weekend. So overall we're looking at relatively quiet conditions overnight tonight with rain chances down warm and humid fair skies out there and getting a little bit past a quarter moon. And then for tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sun. It looks like uh, the ICAST data here, our model data here, is looking a little bit more foreboding with a pretty good chance of scattered showers and thunder showers for a couple of hours. But we don't think it's going to be that wet tomorrow. Rain chance at about 30 to 40 percent tomorrow, getting up to 92, 93 the high next couple of days. As we get into the weekend, boy, the heat's going to be on. Rain chances, though, ramping up Sunday to 60 percent. We'll talk more about that coming up at six and going into next week. It looks like typical splash and dash showers and thunderstorms each and every afternoon. Highs continuing anywhere from uh, the lower to mid 90s, but mostly lower 90s next week with rain chances looking a little bit above what we would normally or what we say climatologically would expect mm -hmm. this time of year. And you know how we like to speak climatologically speaking. So fancy. Always, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Rob.